wait on other people to be what you've been called. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name's Lottie, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an everyday makeup routine, but with a star by it, because I don't wear makeup every single day, um, but when I do wear makeup, this is what I wear. I used to wear makeup pretty much every day when we weren't in quarantine, but now that I'm just here with my family all the time, and I'm just on video calls for work, I really have gotten comfortable with the no makeup look. With all that said, I wanted to just have a video as a resource for you guys. If you ever see in a vlog or another video that I've done a little bit of makeup, this is probably what I've done and the products that I've used. I've been meaning to film some more vlogs for you guys. I know I haven't put one up in a few days, but I always start to film them and then they just feel so repetitive But I asked on my Instagram story today how you guys were feeling about them And a lot of you said that kind of the routine of them was very like comforting and that you liked it Let me know what your thoughts are if you're not with me on Instagram Definitely follow me on there because I love talking to you guys on there But if not you can comment down below and let me know how you're feeling about the vlogs But I just thought this could be a good video to kind of break them up But I thought I'd cater to all you vlog lovers and make it a little more vlog style today um, I wanted to show you guys I set up my ring light behind my vanity it's so funny. I like pulled my vanity away from the wall um, But I think I'm honestly gonna leave it there because it's so nice to have the ring light right here when you're doing your makeup Yeah, we're gonna have good lighting for this video even though it's like over here in the corner of my room And I'm excited to show you guys my makeup today. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just tie my hair back Um, I got this on Amazon. It's like a knockoff I think it's supposed to be Hermes little like hair scarf I'll link it down below if you guys want to get one, but I found this from Lindy Goodson I love her channel. love her Instagram. She's great So you guys should definitely go follow her if you don't already I'll link her channel down below There's a bunch of different colors too. I just think it's cute and it kind of like elevates the look it was like ten dollars like, i'm not gonna pay for a designer hair scarf i thought it was so fun and like pink and orange is really on trend for summer and it has a little bit of blue which is why i put it to match with my dress i'm also gonna pull my like super magnifying you can see makeup mirror into the frame this is from simple human it's dead though so the light's not gonna like come on on it okay so i got my light fixed i got my mirror sorry that it's in like this half of the frame but i need to have it close enough to where i can see and okay let's get started the first thing i do is moisturize so this is the drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream and I'm usually not one to spend this much money on skincare I do like to spend a little bit more on skincare my skin is really dry though so I'm just one to invest in a good moisturizer and this one is great for me for summer because it's pretty light it kind of has a gel kind of texture formula to it and if you guys want to see a whole skincare routine video just let me know I'd be happy to do that okay so I'm gonna kind of let that dry or like get tacky so I've always started with face first and then move to eyes and then lips pretty much but I know like the new age beauty influencers do their eyes first I don't know I've just always done my face first I think that it matters a little bit more when you're working with like a lot of eyeshadow that could have fallout and stuff I completely understand that but for just every day I like to do my face first it just makes more sense to me the first thing I use is my beauty blender this is a real techniques beauty blender you can get them at Ulta or drugstores they're orange I really love these mine's a little bit dirty but I just run it on hot water to get it it's kind of expanded and more easy to work with um, and also if you don't put it under water it'll soak up more of your product so so this is my absolute favorite holy grail product. I've used this for like at least two years now. This is what I use for my face. It's the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I absolutely love this. They don't have the best shade range, so I'm very sorry about that. Honestly, their lightest shade is a little bit too dark for me in the winters, and I'm definitely looking for something that has a more inclusive shade range. So if you have any favorite BB creams or like tinted moisturizers, let me know. I'm always looking to try new ones, but this has just been what's worked for me. So I actually have three different shades of this. I have fair fair light and light i use the lightest shade fair in the like spring and the fall and then i use the shade fair light in the summer and then i use the shade light when i have a spray tan <laughs> which i haven't had one of those in a while so right now i'm using fair light it matches me pretty well i honestly don't have a shade i use in this for the winter usually i just kind of like try to make fair work but it's a little dark for me also has spf 50 which i really appreciate so i'm a big fan of this i've been using it for a while now i usually do like a pump maybe a pump and a half on the back of my hand and then and I just kind of like dot it all over my face which probably isn't the best method I'm not a makeup artist but I do enjoy like makeup and beauty products so I fall kind of somewhere in the middle between a normal person and a makeup artist <laughs> I've done like costume makeup before I'm in high school in the fall plays and musicals I would do costume makeup which was really fun our middle school when I was a senior in high school did the Lion King and I did like scars makeup and Zazu 
and it was so much fun. So I do love makeup, it's one of my favorite things. But in recent years, I feel like I've just been using what works for me and not being as curious with it, which I don't love. But also the beauty community on YouTube just isn't what it used to be like back in 2012 when I first got obsessed. So I don't know, it's not that I don't like where it's gone, but it's just different and it's not as like relatable to me. I just feel kind of intimidated by a lot of the creators that I watch that do makeup videos now. So I don't know. Okay, so there is my BB cream. And then I just go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is another product that I've used for a really long time now and not switched up. I just have found what works for me in terms of concealer and stuck with it. So this is in the shade Light 2. I use the shade Light 1 in the winter and then Light 2 in the summer. So I saw on TikTok where you just put like a little bit here and then like a little bit on the outside and you blend instead of doing like an entire circle under your eyes. So I've been doing that lately. I don't know if it's really made any difference, but I'm just using the pointed end of my beauty blender to blend that out. I put a little on my eyelid too because I have very veiny eyelids and I like for it to all kind of blend together. So yeah. And I forgot to say this, but I used the flat end of my beauty blender to buff out my BB cream. And then I used the, like I showed you, pointed end for concealer. So that is it for like coverage pretty much for me. Luckily, knock on wood, I have pretty unproblematic skin other than the fact that it just stays kind of dry. So I don't have any blemishes or breakouts really right now. And usually when I do, my BB cream honestly covers it up well enough. All right, the next thing I do is use my Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit. I've had this for a while. It's kind of gross, honestly, but it gets the job done. Um, it's a cream product. So I put on all my liquid or cream products together and then I put on my setting powder and then I'll do like my powder products. So like blush and bronzer, I use powder ones of those, but I like using this cream highlighter just cause I feel like it looks more real and glowy for some reason on me. So I just take this and I take my ring finger and I just kind of like dab it on tops of my cheekbones. So yeah, it kind of gives a nice glow. To me, it looks a little more natural. Put a little in the inner corners, put a little on the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow for really going all out. With my dry skin, highlighter just looks better when it's in cream form or stick form rather than powder. I've tried using cream blushes and bronzers, but they're just not as blendable to me for some reason. So then I just take my beauty blender kind of here on the side and just blend it out, kind of diffuse it on my skin a little, anywhere where I put it. And then I'll kind of just take any excess and put it like above my eyebrows, on my actual um, apples of my cheeks, just the high points of my face. That is my highlighter. I highly recommend this, especially if you have dry skin. I just love this thing. All right, the next thing I do is grab my Sephora Bright Set Pressed Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. So this is just a yellow pressed powder. I use this with a brush I got in my Ipsy bag. So anyways, I take this with some of the yellow powder, tap it off, and then just put it under my eyes because yellow corrects purple. They are on the opposite ends of the color wheel. And so it helps your under eyes not look as purple. So that is my life hack there. I love using this and also just sets my concealer separately. Hopefully helps it not crease. All right, then I'm taking my loose translucent powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So I tap a little into the lid. It's hard to kind of tilt to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I just tap like not much at all if you can see. And just use a little bit of this to set my like cream products. Like I said, I have dry skin, so I try to use a really light hand with this, but I find, especially in the summer, if I don't set it with some kind of powder, it'll sweat off really easily. So I do this just to help it last and stay on all day. And what I like about this in combination with the highlighter is that it kind of like tones down the highlighter just a little bit, but you can still definitely see it. Oh, and this brush is just a Too Faced powder brush that I got in a set one year. Okay, now that we are done with my face, I'm gonna move on to cheeks. This is just always the order I've done. I know that people do their makeup in different orders but this is what I do. So the next thing I do is bronzer and this is Hoola Light, which is a lighter version for people who are more fair skinned. So I've been using this obviously a ton. I hit pan on it and this is just kind of my go-to bronzer now, but I just take this on a Royal and Lingnickel Kabuki fan brush. Just kind of put it in the hollows of my cheekbones and then on the tops of my temple. I like using this big fan brush because this bronzer is a good shade for me to where I don't have to be super careful about where I'm putting it. The dogs are barking. Patience is a virtue. So that is my little bronzer. It's nothing crazy, but just a little something something to warm up my face. Um, the fact that Hula Light works for me even in the summer is kind of sad, but 
it is what it is. Okay, next for blush, I usually use another Benefit Box blush. I really like the Benefit Box powders for my cheek products. I've always liked them and used them for that, just sticking with what I know. Sugar Bomb is one of my favorites, so I use this one a lot. And then I also have Dallas which I think is an older one, honestly, but I've been using Dallas for the summer, and then I use Sugar Bomb. I was using that kind of earlier in the summer, but I've kind of switched to Dallas. I kind of switched between the two. So I'm gonna use Dallas, and I just have, I have two different blush brushes I use depending on which blush I use. So I use this one, which is the Real Technique blush brush for Sugar Bomb. And then what I use for Dallas is just this Duo Fiber brush that I've had forever. It's from Sigma. So I just take a little bit of this, again, tap off the excess, and then just put a little on. I just put this on the apples of my cheeks and back a little. I feel like blush Blush has gotten to be more trendy recently like it used to be a thing that like you really didn't put that much blush on at least back in my day and like high school and stuff like I would just use a really light hand with blush but I feel like it's gotten more popular and I'll even put a little on my nose sometimes it's just nice for summer to warm up your face again kind of give you that rosy glow so that's it for my face makeup that's the most I'll do for like an everyday kind of thing sometimes I might skip some of this if I'm in a hurry but this is pretty much like the most I'll do for like an everyday face makeup look and then we'll get on to the eyes okay so so we're up close and personal now. I zoomed you guys in for the eyes. So for my eyes, I always start with my eyebrows after doing my face makeup. So this is the Tarte Sketch and Set brow pencil. So on one side, it has a brow pencil. And then on the other side, it is a brow gel. And I'm in the shade Ash Blonde. So usually I, I use one or the other because this is super pigmented. I've been liking using the pencil lately. And this has lasted me so long. I'm so happy with this. My favorite brow product, hands down. I just lightly fill in my brows. I'll do like a line under here and then I just I don't know I fill them in a little darker honestly or thicker or fuller than I want them to be and then I like will take a spoolie and kind of brush them out I naturally these are like honestly pretty much my natural brows I'll have a few like stragglers that I'll tweeze but my brows just aren't naturally super thick or voluptuous which I kind of am jealous of all of you who can do like the crazy fun brows but that's just not in the cards for me so sorry this takes focus it's hard to talk and do eyebrows at the same time <laughs> there's that one also my eyebrows are definitely Definitely sisters not twins so I always start with filling in the back of here though because I feel like it's kind of empty naturally and then I'll go back in on this side and fill in the front but this is definitely my favorite eyebrow between the two I feel like almost everyone has a favorite eyebrow okay so it's definitely darker than I want so then what I do is I take I have this old brow gel from hourglass it's the arch brow gel and it's like basically empty but this spoolie is like very big it doesn't really do much in terms of adding any color it just kind of helps soften out my brow pencil that I did so it would not shape my brows at all like there's there's nothing on here <laughs> it's literally just like a spoolie okay so that's the best I could do for my eyebrows I'm not saying they look great but that's what it is so then I do my eyes which I honestly don't do much for my eyes I put a little bit of this highlighter in the corner of my eyes when I used it before um, but then all I really do I just take painterly paint pot from Mac and just put that on my eyelids just to like conceal and smooth everything give a base for any eyeshadow I want to use and then my favorite eyeshadow for a while now has been my Inglot little quad that I made so for my everyday looks I really just use these two and then if I'm doing some kind of like leaving the house look then I might use this one too in my crease but this first one they're in there magnetically so this first one that I use is Inglot 313 it's just like a matte vanilla shade and I just take this kind of brush from Sigma the precision tapered p86 and I just cover my whole eyelid and it just kind of like mattifies my lid gets the oils off then if I want to put any other shadows on top they blend a lot easier just because they have that like powder kind of base and then all I do for my everyday look is I just take this flat shader brush from Sigma it's a e55 and I take this like super shimmery I love this color so much this is my like holy grail eyeshadow I'm gonna pull it out so I can tell you guys the number on it okay so this is Inglot 395 I love this this is my favorite eyeshadow so if you're gonna get like a duo those are the two that I use and I'll go ahead and tell you the I absolutely love this one too I just don't use it as much because kind of turns up the volume on the look but it's one of my favorites and it's super unique it's like a rose gold kind of color so this one's Inglot 407 so those are my favorite three eyeshadows I most used hands down and I love having the little quad because it's just so much more portable than having a big palette like this is so much easier to throw in like a makeup bag than something bigger so if you have like your go-to shades and you know it's just like it's where it's at for everyday stuff I use this 
really shimmery kind of vanilla color again it's like this is the matte version and this is like just a super it's not glittery it's just like a glowy color so i just put this in my inner corner and then a little bit on my lid and it really just brightens up your whole look i love it so much i've been doing this for years now and yeah that's it that's literally it it's just so brightening i don't know if you guys could really tell the difference but i love it it's like highlighter for your eyes and then i do some mascara so i'm still kind of new to mascara guys um i asked on my story a few weeks ago on instagram for your mascara recommendations and i haven't gotten around to purchasing any of them but i have that story saved and i screenshotted all of your answers so i'm gonna try a few new ones soon but i just don't go to get groceries we still are having them delivered just to be safe because of corona and so so usually I would like shop for a new mascara when I go to get groceries and just haven't been doing that so anyways the reason that I'm still kind of like new to mascara is because I had eyelash extensions for the past like two two and a half years and so now my eyes are back to just being normal eyelashes and I obviously use mascara in like high school and stuff but I just hadn't used it in a while first thing I do is just take the Clinique bottom lash mascara I feel like when I use normal mascara on my bottom lashes it just clumps up really bad and and it gets on your under eyes really easily, which I hate. Then you have to get a Q-tip, then you have to like redo your concealer. It's just a mess. So I like this also because it's just a little softer. My bottom lashes are definitely more blonde. And so it pulls them out a little more without being like too harsh. So that's the first thing I do. Then I take my eyelash curler. This is from Rory because I ordered some um, lash serum from them. What is it called? Latisse. I was going to order one separately and then I found that my lash serum came with. But I love eyelash curlers i've always been a big proponent of eyelash curlers i feel like they do so much for the program can't go wrong i literally will curl them like two or three times so i got this mascara in my ipsy bag this is ironically called the liquid lash extensions mascara from thrive cosmetics so i've been using this it's like a mini form which is nice because mascara does expire after three months and this is one of the products that i try to abide by its expiration rules so yeah i've just been using this i wouldn't say this is like a holy grail product yet but i don't hate it this is another one of those things that it's really hard to talk and put mascara on um, but I try to like tilt my head back as far as I can to help with not getting product on my eye I feel like it looks so good in the mirror and then I look at it like from far away and it's just like but yeah that's that's pretty much it it is what it is and then just depending on if I'm feeling it that day I'll do a little bit of black eyeliner on my tight line just to like thicken up my lash line that's one thing about eyelash extensions that I feel like really helps because there's so many it really thickens your lash line and just makes everything look more full which I really like so I've been doing this but I hate when it transfers to your waterline because that's just not as like light and bright of a look like I'm going for it's just not my favorite thing for like an everyday look I like doing that at like night I feel like I have a harder time taking my makeup off when I do this but honestly it's usually worth it also you're probably supposed to do this before you put your mascara on but I've just been doing it after and it's been okay so also this isn't the easiest thing to do you just kind of like feel for it and then go for it I don't know if you guys could tell but I feel like that makes a big difference in my lash line I don't know about you but I feel like it does so maybe that's just a me thing yeah, that's pretty much the makeup look, you guys. Oh, and then lips, of course. Can't forget. My favorite everyday lip balm is the Kopari Lip Glossy. Usually I'll use the clear one, but I also like the colored one. So I got this one in a Christmas pack. It's called Birthday Suit, but it's just kind of like a shimmery nude. Kind of like um, the Peach Kiss Baby Lips. It kind of has like that kind of look, if you know what I'm talking about. But I love this. It has like coconut. It smells so good, and it's really hydrating. They're my favorite kind of like on-the-go lip balms and as you can see just kind of gives a little glow so yeah that's the makeup look um that i do pretty much every day i'm gonna zoom back out um, i hope that this video was helpful in some way or that you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and let me know if there's any other beauty videos you want to see from me i love beauty and makeup and skincare and i feel like i've kind of gotten away from that recently because vlogs are just so popular but this is really kind of like an og video for me i love just sharing my everyday makeup look for you guys because it changes over the years and it's really fun to look back on and be like oh yeah i used to love that also before i go i wanted to mention i'll have a link down below where i got my hoop earrings from they're all from this set i got at bobble bar and then this little necklace this one is from etsy i'll link it down below and then this little one with the l is from amazon so i'll link that down below too all of the jewelry i'm wearing today will be linked down below and i'll try to link all the makeup products too but yeah i hope you guys like this video make sure to subscribe if you aren't already would love to have you stick around and join the fam if you have any questions about my makeup look let me know i'll try to answer all your comments 
comments below and also let me know what any of your like holy grail makeup products are because like I was saying before I love the beauty kind of community but kind of more of the casual beauty community if that makes sense so anyways I hope you guys have the best day and I'll see you in my next video